Great. So this video recording is going to be a demonstration of um, what we've dubbed the Schaefer gig. It's a series of arm swing exercise and variations. And I hope that you will enjoy it. The first thing um, I'll demonstrate a couple of times is foot movement, foot movement. So what I'll ask you to do is start with the feet together. We're going to um, spread the feet apart in this fashion. And usually what I'll say is apart, one, two, and then back together, one, two, just a pivot on the toe and the heel, one, two. I might say three, four, three, four, and that'll give us a wider base, right? I'll say um, down and descend slowly, which will look like this, and we'll be rotating and then we'll ascend down. Um, if we're pivoting on the heels, or um, so we'll be doing a couple variations, pivoting on the heels and the toe as we rotate and swing the arms. So that's a heel pivot, lifting the toe. And we're also going to do toe pivot, lifting the heel. So those are a few variations. We're going to do also a stepping forward. What I'll ask you to do is maybe V and then bring the feet in, step out, and then lunge into a mountain climbing stance. We'll step back and switch legs. We may even step backwards, step back into a mountain climbing stance, come forward and then step back into a, another mountain climbing stance. And remember mountain climbing stance, uh, you have one foot forward, that front leg is bent and the back leg is, is for the most part straight. And the feet are sort of at an angle pointing to, pointing at an angle there. And I think that's pretty much it in terms of prerequisite to get started. First thing I'll ask you to do is establish a nice deep breathing pace for yourself. So we're gonna connect to our Dantian. We're gonna connect to our breather. I like to put the hands on the abdomen. Helps to establish the attention and focus there. Take a deep breath, inhale, feel the abdomen expand, exhale. You can engage it and slightly contract. We want to promote relaxation. So just calmly, smoothly, like the ocean waves hitting the beach shore at their pace coming in and going out. A little Qigong secret here for you. Try to place the tip of the tongue at the roof of the mouth gently and in a relaxed fashion. Open up the throat so that the air can move, move smoothly. You might start to get that ocean sound It's good to have between about six to nine seconds as you inhale, six to nine. Exhale, maybe six to nine, maybe 10. Keep that, establish that, and try to keep that as we move through this uh, series. Let your nervous system register this sensation, this feeling, and even this pace so that you can sustain it through the movement. Let's relax the arms at the side. We'll start with the feet together. 
And we're just gonna now start slowly moving, rotating, allowing the arms to relax fully at the side and swing with the momentum of the body. Might be helpful to bend your knees slightly. Gives you a little better feeling and sense of your rotation. From here, we're going to separate the feet. Then we'll bring them back together. Do that a few for a few times, a few repetitions. And as we move through these uh, through this sequence, uh, it's important to try to keep the momentum going. And I know sometimes it's difficult to do that, but try to sustain that intention as we move. So for example, feet will separate now with a one, two, one, two, and I keep the movement going. Keep the breathing steady as well. Let's bring the feet back together. Simple one, two, one, two. Apart, one, two. And back together, one, two. Kind of like patting your head and circling your ha hand on your tummy, like we kind of used to do as kids, splitting the mind. Feet apart, go one, two, and back together, one, two. And apart again, one, two. And together, one, two. Yeah, and you're trying to keep the arms swinging at the same time, right? Trying not to stop. Okay, good. Let's get a sense of the upper body. Okay. We're going to alternate between torso rotation and torso leading the movement. And then arms leading the movement. So for example, we started out with the torso leading the movement. Let's, re and with the arms relaxed, let's now engage the arms and relax the torso. So bring your attention into your arms, sort of stiffen up your arms and relax the torso and use the arm swinging to drive the movement. Remember to keep your breathing pace going. And then let's switch again. Relax the arms and engage the torso. So you definitely should have a contrasting feeling with these two different movements. Similar, but different. Okay, let's switch again. Engage the arms and relax the torso. So for me, I sort of throw the arms out and then bring the arms in, throw them out and then bring it in. Yeah, and I would definitely recommend uh, bending the knees Keeping the knees soft, keeping the ankles soft, keeping the hips soft. Also working within your range. Let the body communicate with you in terms of what range is most comfortable for your body. And now relax the arms and go back to using the torso or the waist or the butt, whatever you're feel like you're using.
Let's go ahead and separate the feet again. One, two, let's do three maybe. One, two, three. Now we're going to lift the toes. We're gonna to lift the toes, pivot on the heels. I'll demonstrate a little bit here, see if I can get myself in the screen. So lifting the toes. And what I recommend is sinking as you turn. That's gonna be helpful for the knee so that you don't over, uh, over rotate the knee that's balancing. Again, stay in your range and keep breathing. Feel free to turn your head. See how far you can look back behind you. Let's go ahead and now lift the heel. Lifting the heel. Pivoting on the toes. See how far you can turn and look. Now, Go ahead and place the feet flat. Keep the feet flat now. Try to feel the movement driving from the feet. Try to feel the movement of the rotation coming from the feet. Kind of like if you're uh, on skis and you're moving back and forth. Feel that torque of the foot and its connection to the ground. Now bend the knees and slightly descend. And slowly rise. Try to descend now a little more. And rise. Down again. and rise. Let's go ahead and widen the base a little bit, almost as if you're in a nice wide horse stance. From here, we're gonna descend and rise again. Descend. And see where your, um, see where your range of motion lies and see where it sort of stops. As you descend, go down, soft joints, and up. The goal would be to have your thighs uh, parallel to the ground. So if you bend your knees and you descend, the goal would be to see if you can get your thighs parallel to the ground. And then the goal would be to see if you could hold that position as you twist. Of course, you want to maintain upright, upright posture. Yeah, and that's kind of fun. Really good for the legs, really good for the knees, hips, and all those connective tissues in the joints. Great, almost done actually. Now we're going to be stepping forward. We're gonna be stepping back into a mountain climbing stance. Let's go ahead and bring the feet together. One, two, three. Let's just take simple steps forward. Doesn't matter which leg. I'll say step and uh, try to find intuitively where the best opportunity is for you to step because you want to continue with the movement. 
Okay, so let's step forward, doesn't matter which leg. Ready, go. Stay there, keep your twist. And step back, ready, and go. Let's try the other leg. Get ready. And step. And get ready. Step back. Kind of silly, huh? <laughs> okay, let's step forward again. Ready and go. Ready, step back and go. Other leg, step forward, ready and go. And step back and go. Now with the feet together, let's come back feet together and let's step backwards. See how that goes. Okay. Get ready. Doesn't matter which foot. Step back, go. Try not to hit your hand on anything as you, <laughs> that uh, can hurt. Ready, step forward and go. Ready, step back and go. And step forward, ready, go. Very good, very good. Step back, go. Step forward, go. Step back and go. It's kind of easier to uh, drag the foot a little bit, lightly touching the ground. That's really helpful. Step forward and go. Now we're going to alternate the stances. So let's separate the feet. One, two, three, four. Sink the weight. I'm gonna ask you to turn to a mountain climbing stance to your left. I'll mirror you and go to my right, turn. Notice how you're in the same stance, what we were just doing. And let's just pivot on the heel to do a 180 degree uh, turn. So one, two is how we'll do that. One, two is how we'll switch and go back to the other side. So I pivot on the heel and lift the toes. I go one and two. I'm on mountain climbing stance on one side. And then I pivot on the heel, lift the toe, do a one, two, and I'm on the other side. So let's go ahead and on your own now, take a couple of minutes and just take a couple repetitions and get comfortable with that switching. Rotating, uh, pivoting on the heel, one, two. Maybe you wanna stay there, maybe you wanna turn back to the other side, go ahead and do that. One and two, real simple. One and two, one and two. You can see it's not that difficult. You know that if you're having uh, some challenge, with a little bit of practice and repetition, you can see how this could become uh, easier. Now, with each 
rotation of your hips, change your stance. So that you're doing with each repetition, you're doing a mountain climbing switch to each side. Kind of use that as you relax the arms, use that to rotate the body. And if you have the arms fully relaxed, you'll notice just from the feet and the switching, you're driving a lot of force. Okay, let's come back to the center. We're gonna slowly bring it back to a stop. Bringing the feet together. Slowly coming back to the stillness. With the feet together, we're holding the posture now. Might have a little buzz going here. Relax the arms, relax the shoulders. You can even probably take the opportunity to uh, face the palms to one another. You might feel the uh, energy between the palms. from all that work we just did. Bring the attention uh, to the abdomen for deep abdominal breathing. <sighs> bring down the heart rate, bring down the lung rate. As you stand here, feel the feet connected to the ground. Slightly lift up the head, tuck in the chin. Connecting to the sky. Hold your posture here as you breathe comfortably and naturally. Great, I'll go ahead and pause the video and uh, see if you have any questions, any observations. We'll take the opportunity to take a short break too.